Hey, it's Mike Gross and this is Nittany Next and next for Penn State is Maryland in Baltimore on Saturday. A couple of interesting things about this matchup. One, Penn State is coming off a loss at Columbus, Ohio against Ohio State, the number one team in the country, which could be something of a deflating thing. It was 38 to 10. On the other side, Maryland is coming off a bye and coming off their coach getting fired, Randy Edsel. Uh, and uh, a native York, York County. And here's an a couple interesting things about Randy Edsel. By all accounts, he did a pretty good job of sustaining some discipline in their program, uh, doing a good job with academics, and also with recruiting. Their 2015 class was pretty good, and uh, their 2016 recruiting class is considered to be real good. Despite all of that, he wasn't winning enough games on the football field. Uh, Maryland was two and four. Um, their, law, their wins were against South Florida and Richmond, so they weren't, they weren't coming up big at the right time. So he's out the door, which sort of lets you know what the priorities are in college sports. You've got to win. However, his replacement is one of his assistants on an interim basis, a guy named Mike Loxley. Let's take a look at Mike's resume. He was the coach for two and a half years, the head coach at the University of New Mexico, during which he racked up a sexual harassment charge a suspension after an, after an altercation with an assistant coach. Oh, by the way, he went two and 26 during those two and a half years. So if winning is what it's all about, I'm not sure if Mike Loxley is the answer. We'll find out if Maryland plays with a lot of fire on Saturday. Maryland kind of pulls out all the stops uh, to get an upset. And again, with Penn State, this endless uh, story of are we going to be able to punt the ball? Are we going to be able to block anybody? Are we going to be able to correct Christian Hackenberg? So that's sort of the backdrop in which Penn State uh, goes to Maryland on Saturday and tries to get bowl eligible. You can follow all our Penn State coverage on LancasterOnline.com, Facebook, and Twitter.